up everybody i just wanted to do a quick video before i call to the night i'd like to welcome y'all to my channel please like share and subscribe so we can get these algorithms going um everything on this video is a legend and for entertainment purposes only um i just wanted to make a quick video guys because um a lot of you guys want to be these aspiring rappers and you want to be famous. They put this stuff out here, this jewelry and fast cars, man. You know, scripture tells us to not be consumed with the things of this world. And to um, not become so materialistic. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, and, and, you know, wanting or lusting after these material things. But they throw it in, in our face every single day. It's like this is the only this is the only way of life. And I want to tell you aspiring rappers, man, and even some of you guys who have made it, do not sign those record deals right now. And, it, and if you do, if your blood hell bent on, on signing a deal, watch who you sign with. Because a lot of these record companies are under demonic leadership. They are under evil um, leadership, and they don't mean you well. I mean, we looking at, I've never seen so much violent, um, violence, not just um, in our own communities and around the world, but in this rap um, industry. And it's like it's, it's being pushed, and it's being... Um, um, it's a conscious or, or, or um, relentless effort to keep this violence going. Now, why? We got to ask ourselves, why is this? They pushed out in the late 90s, uh, early 90s. Late, they began to push out the conscious rap. I mean, you don't hear hardly any conscious rap. Besides J. Cole and, you know, a few, a couple of other rappers who tries to implement some of that conscious rap. You're not going to see it unless you go on YouTube. Um, my boy K. Reno, he be dropping. If y'all never heard K. Reno, y'all need to, he's from Houston. Y'all need to go on his platform and listen to this brother spit that gang. K. Reno, one of the coldest rappers that's never been heard of, you know. But he, he refused to sell his soul. The only way you're going to get out here is you have to sell your soul. And it's absolutely ridiculous. But um, the point I'm trying to make, man, is that the the reason why this the, it's a conscious effort to p keep pushing these guns out. I've never seen so many guns in my life. My little nephew came over here the other day. He got into it. He was with his guys, and you know, I, I you know I speak. I try to speak life into him and try to discourage anything that goes on. But you know, eventually they're gonna do what they want to do. And these guys came over here with so many guns. It was ridiculous. I've never seen that many guns. You know, I came up in the era where we fought, you know, and if we went somewhere to get in some drama, out of 15 cats, maybe two or three had guns. Now, everybody got guns. Out of If 20 niggas go to for some beef, at least everybody there got guns. <laughs> and some of them got two on them. And it's just, it's just crazy. But, but you know, I'm looking at this, man, and it's like it's a conscious effort to keep this demonic activity going. But why? But why? They know if they don't keep this up, where's our anger and where's our violence going to begin to turn to? These white people, these elite, they know what's going on, man. They know that these black brothers these black brothers and sisters, if they get conscience, if all of them get together, it's over. They've always feared this. So why you think they pushing this agenda? Why you think they're, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> look at what they doing in Chicago, man. What kind of laws is that? What, what is going on? I mean, you can't tell me that this ain't a conscious effort to keep this violence going because the way things are going now, it's only going to get worse as far as our economy, as far as what's going on um, 
in America, period, and all around the world. It's only going to get worse. But they have to keep the black people busy fighting each other. Because if we begin to come together, oh, it's over. The war is already over. Okay, and they understand that we are a very, very, very powerful people, but we've lost our way. And, you know, I'm not a big Charleston White fan, but I do agree with some of the things he say, he's saying, man, like, man, and his, his whole point is this, man. If y'all ain't got a, 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 a heart for your own community or your own people, then fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to die. I don't give a fuck. Y'all go to jail. Die. I don't care. But if you don't, if you're on this planet and your only objective is to get into beef and kill other people, extort other people, then you, you don't need to be on this planet. And I agree with him, you know, on that aspect. Um, we got these brothers out here, man, totally demonic. None of them has a clue of who God is. They don't have a relationship with them. So, they, these people, like they say, they on demon time. Man, it's, 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 it's just crazy. I've never seen anything like this. And, you know, but back to what I was saying, man, they, it, this is a, a conscious effort to keep the violence going against black, against black crime. If we wake up, they're in trouble, okay? And, so, and they know this. And so... You know, we look at all these 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 rap videos, these 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 rap, um, the the violence that's in it. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. My advice to you guys that's aspiring to be rappers: leave it alone, man. Stay hood rich. You know, I came out with a, a mixtape back in the days. I actually was offered a deal, and I turned it down. Um, I got two mixtapes. One of them right now cannot be played um, because it's under contract if i try to play it i could be sued or whatever and plus i don't even have majority of that music but i got music on on, on reverb y'all can go check it out it's d shot d slash s h o t t and you'll see a gun with um a, a glass of wine it was called player's ambition and this was done way back in the days man and I was offered a deal, man. They flew me out there to, to New York. And, you know, I'm going to drop another video kind of explaining that and even showing you guys um, uh, the emails that I had received. But I just thank God that I wasn't thirsty enough to, you know, accept that. You know, so it, it's, what I'm seeing now, man, is just absolutely it's scary to a point. But, you know... We got to wake our people up. We got to wake our children up. They're dying brutal deaths. They're thinking that this this evil, this, this, this war, this drill music, which is totally demonically influenced. And all this is, is, is cool and it's not. They have no relationship with God. And I kind of put that on the parents' shoulders. What are y'all teaching y'all kids? What are y'all showing y'all kids, man? You know, is, is y'all letting them just go? Letting them go, huh? And that's what it seems like. Um, but I just wanted to drop this video tonight, man, just to let y'all know. Look, leave. The, 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 don't even aspire to sign these contracts. Because the minute you do it, your soul don't belong to you anymore. Or your, 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 uh, your body. Your body doesn't belong to you anymore. Um, um, it's soul harvesting. Um, it's demonic influenced and you just got to be aware of who you're signing with or who you're trying to um, become and so you know just wanted to put this quick video out there for you guys um, this is a plan to destroy and keep y'all uh, fighting each other so that you guys don't turn your energy elsewhere because there's a lot of anger and bitterness and, and hatred that's within us, but they've 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 turned it around where we're fighting each other. We're releasing this energy, this great buildup of energy and consciousness. They they switched it up, man, and they're doing it using witchcraft. But they switched it up and they got us killing and fighting each other, which is ridiculous. But it's some brothers, 
It is some that understand and knows what's going on. And those are the ones that are fighting back. Those are the ones that are so-called faking their deaths and, and going back into the shadows. Because this is a real, real fight, y'all. This is a real, real fight. And there's so many people that are involved. You know what I'm saying? And so kudos and prayers to those who are fighting the good fight and for those who are, you know, just becoming part of evil, who are blending in with evil. You know, I, I want to say this real quick about, um, you know, the J, J Prince man. And, you know, he rarely comes out. And I keep telling people, you just got to watch and see what's going on. He rarely speaks out uh, on rappers. or And if he does, he, you know, he's sending out his condolences and, and he's speaking his peace. But when PNB was killed, man, that was an eye and open up. A lot of people that are close to his camp that he considers family, you know, anybody that's signed with um, or linked to Empire or that's linked to um, uh, Mob Ties is family. OK. And so when he comes on, he's he's telling these rappers they've been trying to tell him, listen, we are at war. Y'all cannot move any kind of way. You can't be going to no restaurant with man hundreds of thousand dollars worth of jewelry on. You can't be going nowhere without, uh, with, without um, a protection or security. You just that you gotta move different. We are at war. You gotta move different. And these young cats are not getting it. That they're still moving how they want to move. And when you're dealing with Satan, man, he gonna get you any way he can. He got too many imps and warriors out here working for him. So. You know, just a message to you rappers, man. Be careful. Watch how you moving. Don't move any kind of way. If you can resolve your beef, humble yourself. Go resolve that beef. Squash that beef. That's why I command Dolph, man. He tried several times to squash the beef. They wasn't trying to budge. So he, he knew he had to get out the way. And like I keep telling y'all, the man is not dead. Trust me on this. Him or Nipsey. Them brothers are somewhere chilling on the island, you know, relaxing, waiting for that seven years to pass. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, you guys just need to, to to really see what's going on. It's deeper than deep. I got more videos coming out, you know, proving to you guys just how deep this game is and proving that a lot of these rappers are faking their deaths. They're not really gone, but they have to kind of get out the way because of, um, you know, the, the target that's put on their head by the elites, by uh, the gay mafia, by uh, these people, man, this, this evil and, and demonic um, 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 group of people who wants to destroy not only the black people, but America, period. And so... I just wanted to make this video tonight, man. It went a little longer than I expected, but this is this is it's just sickening, man. I'm seeing what's going on, and and the war has already started. It's good and bad, evil against good, and which side are you gonna be on? If you choose to do this drill music, choose to be out here killing, you don't want to forgive, then you know what? The hell with you. Um, my prayers will go right over your head, and the bullets won't. You know, and death won't. It will find you. Y'all want to sell out? Y'all think that been gaining um, um, this 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 power and this money that the elite and the deep and and, and Satan is giving you? You got to pay all that back. You got to pay all that back. And you know, a lot of people. I'm just gonna say this, and then I'm done. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg sold his soul a long time ago. Murder was the case. That was his initiation. He let y'all know he sold his soul so that he wouldn't do um, life in jail. And that's why he has not been touched since. And that's why kind of him and and, um, and, and Pac kind of had differences. Pac was tired, man. He didn't fuck with nobody who he thought sold they sold or was riding with that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And Snoop was. Snoop knew that Jay-Z, a lot of them cats in New York, that's why he didn't really want to turn the beef to them because he was connected and um, um, spiritually in a demonic sense, if that makes sense to you guys. He was connected. He knew all them cats, Jay-Z, all them. They, they worshiped the devil family. They don't sow, they sow just like him. And so when 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 Pac was beefing with them, he kind of, you know, I, he didn't want to get involved. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's just a lot to this. I got, again, I got videos coming out. Um, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, man. And I, I just tell you guys to keep praying. Pray for those, man, who are fighting the good fight. And I, I personally believe that uh, um, Jay Prince is one of those, man. He's up, they attacking this brother, man, from every angle. And he and he's going at they ass. He's not letting up. And so, um, you know, we just got to keep, not just him, but it's other people in the, in the background that are fighting the good fight. And you could tell, just start paying attention to some of these videos, man, and just pay attention to the symbolism. You know, a lot of these cats, you, you're you not going to see that. Now, they flash their cars and jewelry, but you're not going to see the hand gestures. You're not going to see um, the flashing where you have to, if you slow it down, you'll see the Baphomet sign and the, 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 um, the, the, you know, the Masonic symbols and all this stuff, man. Pay attention, y'all. See who's who. And you'll begin to see. You'll be like, wow. Man, and that's all I'm here to do is help open you guys' eyes. But I love you guys. Again, hit that subscribe button. Um, eventually, I'm going to be going live real soon. Um, uh, hit that subscribe button, that like button. And I love you guys. And remember, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Love you guys.